Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, a proper nice day today, yeah. isn't it? Yep. We're back here with Andy, out on course. We're probably going to just play a few holes, look a bit of chip in it meantime. Yep. Just see if there's anything crazy going off. You seem to think that everything's pretty all right at the minute. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad, but you'll see some uh, some funky stuff, I think. That's what we're here for, isn't it? That is what we're here for. Right, let's get into it. A bit right, just down right hand side. That's pretty good. Well, out of that tricky lie, I think it might just be a fraction short yeah. near bunker somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good from there, right? So, here's where that ended up one, what were we, one four five, something like that. Yeah, nine nine, just at front at green, super shot. Uh, we would put these out, but this guy's forgot his putter at home, so so we're just gonna play to, to green today, aren't we? Yeah. Maybe do a bit of chipping as well. So, but that from where we were, super that. Right then, second hole, 150, 99. <laughs> you seem to take a bit of speed out of that one, you know. I don't know whether it's going to have a couple of nice bounces and get there. Probably will. I know, me too. Did you? It seemed smoother tempo wise as well. I think you'll be on that. I think you'll be on front edge of green there, though. Some start this, isn't it? Yeah, not bad. Second hole, second green in reg. Or should we play a game where, like, if you hit a green in reg, you get a birdie. Yeah. If you miss it, but you hit a good chip, then you get a par, that kind of stuff. Time. I think we should as well. Should we just sack putting off? Yeah, it's overrated, isn't it? <laughs> right, third hole, par five, four, eight, two, one, off the yellows today. We're going to play it two different ways. We're going to go hybrid off the tee for safety first time and see what kind of score we can make, and then we're going to go driver second time. Line-wise, whereabouts do you see it? Okay, and then just play a little fade for it yeah, to come back. Yeah, Perfect. Great swing, that, mate. I am liking the smooth tempo, you know. Yeah. Perfect. Same again with driver. Yeah, but driver probably a bit more wild. Just a low strike, weren't it? Yeah. Control face pretty well, though. Yeah, because a strike, it won't have gone that much further than I have but... Did I tell you something, there's definitely an element of you starting to control your club face a lot more since you've changed your tempo and gone smoother. Oh, he's definitely, the strike's definitely a lot better. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go and play both of these out then. Well, that's it, so we've got 240, you want to leave your 100 yards. Oh, it's slightly uphill, so I think you want to hit your next shot 150. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we can leave us send that magic number. Uh, Line-wise, it's them conifer trees up there. Yeah, straight up. Straight in the middle of them. There's about seven of them, I think, isn't there? If you go right for the middle one, then that's perfect. Great shot. Could be good, that. I'm not quite sure if it's all the way up to 100. It's good, though. It's had a nice bounce. Yeah. Super strike. Right then, driver. Uh, because we've gone aggressive off at T, we said we're going to go aggressive second shot. So we've got three wood. We're going to see how far or how close to green we can get. <laughs> Taking some rate chunks out. <laughs> That's a ripper. You know, I've, I've rate tried talking you into being really sensible, and yeah. and you just did drive a three wood onto green. Well, <laughs> easy it is. One ten. We wanted to leave hundred. We've left one ten, haven't we? Yeah. What are you saying? Is it an A wedge? With it, so I okay. Right, right. Just make sure you you give it some at the bottom then. Make sure yeah. you control your loft a bit a bit more. Because then ones where it goes seventy, even if you do strike it well, it's because you'll be adding loft. So, so a bit punchy. And one thing that I will show you guys at home is that that free one is very close. So, so yeah, nice and firm through it. Keep that loft down. Just a little bit pushed, weren't it? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you trying to land it? Uh, just off a minge. <laughs> I've monetised these videos, you know. Well, I 
<laughs> can't be saying binge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just a bit stoppy, weren't it? Yeah. Your bouncers helped you out on that one that time. Not too bad. Yeah, well, I remember last time you were on about that with, with bounce and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's like trying to keep your speed up. Yeah. And I think if I duff it a little bit, then at least bounce is going to help me out. Of course. And on that occasion, exactly yeah, what it yeah. did, didn't it? Yeah. Rather than, I, I can do low shot pitches that I have to duff and just. <sighs> Nightmare, like, isn't it? Yeah. Like not too bad between the two ways of playing it we've got one eagle port and one par port there haven't we yeah. shame we can't put them out like but no, no. that way the one on the right is the three wood that he hit one on the left is a par port so all in all pretty good well exceptionally good in that three woods case we're having to go anyway oh that was an interesting point that you just raised. So we aren't teeing this one up. You told me off camera that when you do tee it up, your strike gets a little too high and you'll, then you'll lose a bit of ball speed and not get it where you want it to be, will you? So, so let's see how you get on off at floor. We have got a couple of balls just in case. Uh, Line-wise, can you see that 150 post in, in distance? Yeah? If it's straight at that, even if it's slightly pulled or a fade, it's perfect. So just do what you've been doing, mate. Not too bad. Just a tiny bit heavy, was it? I think we'll just get to the corner though with a couple of firm bounces. Club wise, I were in between giving you four or a five, and I'm kind of glad we've gone four. Just to allow you, if you were to miss strike it, then you still get it out there. So, cool. Right, 160. We are slightly into the breeze. Will that affect your club selection? Uh, one thing that we've just thought about is how firm it is just short of this green. So, he's going to take a shot that lands short that bounces on. Uh, we have got eight. So we're in between seven and eight. Anything in between um, bunker and flag. Can you see where flag is? Right hand side of green. So anything in between there is fine. The, I think the flag is as far right as you'd want to go. Ever so slightly. Just left that face open, didn't we? Got you. Just go back to your seven and just go smoother again. Bunkerish. Just a fraction behind it, weren't it? Yeah, bunker. Not the worst leaving world. Nice lie. Yeah. Are you thinking one foot in bunker or both feet outside bunker? I presume here, aren't they? Yeah. Just really make sure you get down and underneath this one. Really get behind it. Load of speed. It's a great shot, that. Perfect. Nice. That couldn't play the bet myself. No. Right then, just for the last hole, we've cut about to the ninth. We've got 152. Slightly uphill. See if we can have another nice iron shot. See if we can end on one of them technical birdies again. Nice late middle at green. Just a little bit pulled, weren't it? Yeah. Strike were good. Perfect. Wicked that. So that one more just aiming right side at green and then. Yeah, just smooth. Perfect. Bit bouncy again, but okay. Yeah. Not too bad. No. no I'll take that. Let's just think. An eight iron, yeah, like a more percentage one again. A little bit thin. Pretty good though, just a bit pacey, weren't it? Yeah. Mine were a lot better that time. I just know I need to get the first shot better. Yeah. Because, well, it doesn't matter what's in front of me, then I can throw it over it. Of course, of course. I'm trying to rely on that all the time. You get a bunker in where you get a little stream yeah. or something, you need to hit 56 and get it over, don't you? Time and a place, though. If yeah. if in that instance, I think eight time is best club for you to yeah, use. I would have done that in, in a comp or if I were somewhere else, then I, I definitely would have took the chances with this instead. Yeah. But, yeah. It's good. Yeah.